the goals of our fellowship are to train the next generation of leaders in dermatologic surgery and cutaneous oncology. We value mentorship tremendously. From day one when the fellow comes into our program, we'll meet with them and talk to them about what their career goals are. So it's not so much that we're focused on how the fellow can help us, but how we can help them. Now what's unique perhaps at our program is that although I trained all of the fellows that have become faculty members at Yale, they have all differentiated in their own way. So the fellow gets a diversity of experience from each of the faculty members rather than the same experience over and over again. We have one dermatologic surgery fellow which allows us to have a personalized curriculum and teaching with the fellows. With that we meet weekly with all of our faculty members one-on-one -on -one, and really that's a time to discuss anything. So we go over interesting learning points from the week, we talk about research projects, and we also just talk about you know career advice and even you know personal life advice. And so you know really we have a very tight-knit community at Yale Dermatologic Surgery. The majority of this fellowship program is spent doing Mohs surgery, so learning the Mohs technique and learning advanced reconstruction. Most of our cases are basal cell and squamous cell carcinoma, which is expected, but we are now offering Mohs surgery for treatment of melanoma in situ and superficial melanoma. There is also an enlarging component of aesthetic dermatology, which of course interdigitates with the world of Mohs surgery and facial surgery. Another unique feature of our program are our fellow training clinics. These are sessions that we hold approximately once a week where the fellow is booked patients to see them and they're able to get hands-on experience in aesthetics, so particularly with lasers and injectables. The demographic distribution of patients is extensive. We see all patients, of course, we turn no one away. Uh, but most of the patients are people that have had a fair amount of sun exposure. There continues to be more and more cases of skin cancer every year, which increases the volume of cases that are treated by Mohs surgery, which means that as Mohs surgeons, we need to be comfortable dealing with more complicated cases, more complicated reconstruction as well. And we also need to be comfortable dealing with cancers in a multidisciplinary treatment environment. And I think that we're actually very good at that at Yale and you can collaborate within the department with your dermatopathologist, medical dermatologist, as well as across other specialties such, such as surgical oncology, plastic surgery, and medical oncology. While we have a really high case volume, the fellow isn't forced to go to many, many sites. We have two sites, one in New Haven and one in Brantford, and our fellows will be going to both. In addition, they'll be going to the Veterans Affairs Hospital, where they will assume more of a teaching role. The fellow at our program, perhaps uniquely, is appointed as an instructor, so they are in fact a faculty member. You're learning, but you're also teaching the residents and medical students. I feel like that adds a lot to the fellowship because it helps enhance your knowledge base as well as help develop leadership skills. One of our goals is to train people who are going to be active in the Mohs surgery community and contribute to our body of knowledge. We love it when our Mohs fellows stay in academics. And so research is an important part of that. Uh, and we like to make sure that every fellow has some research project that they can work on during their fellowship year. Even beyond that, the Yale community is a really amazing community to be a part of. There are so many opportunities to learn from people who have unique experiences from your own, and really it's a community that supports anything that you want to do. I believe that our program has enormous exposure to Mohs surgery and ensuring that the fellow gets adequate hands-on time in learning and practicing and performing these procedures. With uh, true experts in our field, with a very small, tight-knit type of family-oriented feel to the program. All our technicians, supportive staff, the nurses, I feel like we're one big family and that helps create a collaborative environment where it's very conducive for learning. And I think that uh, the resources that are, for all practical purposes, boundless, are available to any fellow that is interested in pursuing 
excellence as they gain training as most surgeons.